Hi everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live 2019. My name is Roxanne and I'm joined by my colleague Demetrius, Sam, Mr. Tara from Platinum Games, who uh, is the director on uh, the brand new action game on Nintendo Switch, Astral Chain, and uh, Ryan, who will be interpreting for him. Uh, would Mr. Tara like to open with any opening remarks? はい。so I'm uh, Taura san from Platinum Games, and today is going to be the first time that we're going to be showing off uh, play footage from the game. So please, everybody at home, we'd like you to enjoy. All right. Yeah. All right, so good. Yeah, so I get to jump going. into it. All right. <laughs> OK, so what we're going to do here is we got a, a special treat. We're going to show kind of the beginning of the game for you guys. So what you see here is kind of a character sheet. Um, you can select between a male or female, but it's kind of note that these are actual sisters, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm going to today go ahead and select the male character here, and I'm going to go through and customize this character real quick. Let me put my name in there. Let me do the name. That's right. I got to make this important. <laughs> yeah, while Demetrius is naming his character and uh, customizing his look, I did see a police logo in that background there. Could Mr. Tara sort of elaborate on the game setting, the story, and the characters we'll be encountering? あの、後ろに警察のあのロゴが映ってますけれども、あのゲーム全体の世界観についてあのお話いただけますでしょうか。そうですね。あの地球を舞台にしたあの近未来の世界なんですけれども。え、異世界からのですね、侵略を受けていまして、もうほとんどのあの大陸が汚染されてしまっている状態で、え、人類はですね、あの、アークというあの人工島に逃げ延びているんですけども、そこにもついに魔の手が迫ってきて、え、今ま
And then right now you notice that I'm actually using what's called an Exoton. It's a weapon that's actually going to transform into many different uh, styles that I can use. It's going to go back in my little holster there. Yeah. Okay, so file one, hot pursuit. There we S. go. And S. All right. <laughs> so one thing to note too is that um, this game has different play styles. Right now, I'm set to standard uh, play style. So you'll see that I got an S rank based on time. Uh, I'm a defensive driver, and I got run and gun, <laughs> and I got some uh, bonus medicine that I can use uh, to heal. So what we're going to do now is we just wanted to show you kind of the intro. I, I, I was really <laughs> happy to show this off. So what we're going to do is actually jump to a little bit more uh, in the future of this game. A little bit like a played up a little bit later. So I'm going to actually cut to something different. Okay. Let me grab this other controller here. All right. Let that play. Okay. Now once I see that switched over, I'll be ready to start. There we go. So now you can see that I'm actually in the Neuron Police uh, headquarters, I guess you would say, right? Um, right here, I'm still the same character design. So what I'm going to do now is I want to kind of get to show you guys the basic uh, action. Um, this game has a lot of depth to it. So what we're going to try to do is just kind of break this down for you guys a little bit at a time because there's so much to it and it's super, super great. Yeah, and to elaborate on what Neuron is specifically, Neuron is a special police task force uh, that whose members are equipped with legions. These are sentient Correct. weapons. Uh, we've shown a little bit uh, in the trailers, um, but uh, you do need legions to be able to defend against chimeras, who are the interdimensional uh, invaders that are sort of threatening Earth. So right. we'll just to kind of break it down real quick, if I tap ZL here, you'll see that I actually I bring up my legion. My legion is actually going to attack on its own. But if I hold down ZL, I can actually move it around with the right control stick. So it's going to allow me to finesse, have a greater finesse. Now you'll notice that there's a little energy bar down there. Um, as that dissipates, it's the amount of time I have for my legion to be out. So when my legion is attacking, I can actually tap the ZR button and get into my own form of attacks. Now this is just kind of the basics. So what I'm going to do here is go into some training with Jin. It's kind of like my first real assignment after I got my legion. And I'm just going to kind of bash through this. I'm just going to explain Jim wants me to train. He's going to give what's called a Legatus unit. Um, it's kind of what you see right there, a house in the back. Everyone that has a legion needs to have this unit uh, strapped to the back. It's, a, it's like a casing, I guess you would say. Um, it's also going to grant me use to the iris. That's why you see my character's eyes light up. Great. Looks like it fits. All right, it does fit. So I'm now going to go back. Go back. That's your goddess. Okay, your goddess cradle. Goddess cradle, excuse me. All right. I'm going to skip to this. Now I need to go train over here, so I'm going to press, uh, close this out. And kind of just start with this iris right here. Okay. Yeah, and a little bit more about the iris. The iris is like an augmented reality layer uh, on top of the environment that will highlight uh, special items. And it has other uses that we'll see a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is hop into a training program real quick just to kind of show you guys some basic action. I'm going to fight some uh, chimeras, a humanoid form. And why don't we ask um, Tarasan about kind of just the creation of legions. について so from the beginning we wanted to create a game where you controlled two different characters at the same time. Um, but the enemies have this like very extreme power. Um, and so, yeah, we wanted to elaborate on something where you captured an enemy and made use of it. And the enemies, they're known as chimeras, but uh, among the legions, there are uh, legions that, that will show up that look a lot like the chimeras that you'll face. Mm. So taking a look at some of the stuff that, that Demetrius is getting into here, you can see he's using that uh, feature where you can control your legion to wrap them up and bind them. And that'll hold them for a few moments where you can get in some good attacks, just like this. And I can switch freely back and forth between what's a small baton and what's also going to be called the blaster. All right, I, I'll just keep playing this. I got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I don't want to pull the eyes. Like that. Let me stop real quick. Training menu. 
All right, we want to quit training. Have enough of this program? Yes, I have it enough. That's enough for now. That'll do for today. And again, that's just the basics. There's going to be a lot more options that we'll show later on. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> あの、今やってもらってたトレーニングとかはあの、この警察署でいつでもできるようになっているので、あの、操作が難しいなと思う方は、あの、いろんなトレーニング用意しているので、あの、ぜひここで練習してもらいたいなと思います。So okay. the training that you just saw is one of many that are actually available to use at the police station. So for anyone who feels that they haven't gotten used to the controls yet or they want to practice more, there are lots of those specifically for those types of people. So we'd like them to make use of it. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
、あの今ちょうどあのそのレッドマーターの話が出ましたけれども、はい、あのレッドマーターの由来とかあのアクションゲームにはめったにないこの何水類水類のエレメあのそれについてお話しいただけますでしょうか。そうですね。あのまずレッドマーターに関してはあの最初にお伝えした通りこの地球があの異世界によって汚染されてるっていう表現を表すためにあのいろんな場所に散りばめられています。So, just、uh, as I said before, the world is under attack and being polluted by this mysterious force, and the red matter is, is located in different areas to show that the world is actually under attack. あのそれがあのアクションゲームとしてはあのマリオのコインを集めるような遊びになっていたりします。<笑> The、uh, red matter that's scattered around, and that becomes kind of like、uh, playing using Mario to collect coins. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good way to put it, though. For all of us who like to collect all the coins, or all, all the red matter.、Like、yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't move on until I've cleaned up absolutely every bit of red matter there is to clean up. But、uh, so, what, what Dimitris is doing here is he sent out his legion to kind of spy and listen in on this conversation. And that brings up a, an important point about legion that I don't know that we've touched on just yet is the、uh, legion, as, as a member of Neuron, you're special. Uh, you can see the Legion and、mm-hmm. you can see the Chimeras, and the other regular folk that aren't part of this special task force cannot see that. So, that,、uh, that when that Legion was spying on those guys, they didn't know it was there. Correct. Okay. So, we get, and with that, we gathered three police notes, and now we're trying to put it all together. So, well, what can you tell me about the physical characteristics of the Chimera that caused this mess? Well, it has giant hands, obviously. Seems to. All right, so big handprint. All right, so why did the Chimera come here, Sam?、Uh, probably to drag someone through the gate. All right, excellent choice. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> We're no rookies. Now comes the hard part. All right, so we know essentially what, what the captain is breaking it down over is we know that something serious is happening. This giant hand means that something's threatening this area, and it's going to be up to us to kind of look for this right creature, this chimera. We don't know what it looks like, we don't know what it could be, but we're going to hunt down its tracks and kind of get through that. And so here's another use of our legion and how we're going to do it. I got good listener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just dropping S's all day. Yeah, perfect. All right. I'm,、nice、I'm like, where is this going? Okay. So, right here, I'm going to bring out my Legion once again, and I'm going to find tracks, and I'm going to use it to essentially. You've got the trail. There we go. Yeah. まあ、今見てもらってるみたいにあのレギオンを使えばあの敵のキメラが残した足跡のような痕跡っていうものをあの具現化して追いかけるようなことができるようになっています。So just like you did right now and like people saw, you can actually use your legions to pick up on the trails that are left behind by enemy chimeras and follow them. それを追っていくことであのターゲットの敵にたどり着くこともあればあのまたあの別のものにたどり着いたりとかそういったところもゲームの至るところに入ってたりします。And there are all over the game there are places where you follow these tracks and you may wind up at the enemy that left the tracks or you may wind up at something completely different. Right. Oh, before that though, hold on. Let me just, let's just take a quick bathroom break. I just gotta, I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> Rest <of> room. <laughs> <laughs> It's too much water, right? It's right, right. It said it was an automated toilet. <laughs> <laughs> これはあのステージに隠されているものであのこういったものを見つけるとあの後々いいことがあったりするような隠し要素が他にもトイレ以外にもたくさんあります。So the toilet that you just saw is、uh, hidden in every stage. There's a different toilet, and、uh, if you there there a hidden element, and if you find them all, then something good will happen. That's amazing. I don't even follow this one. のためにまあまっすぐ進むもいいんですけど、あやって寄り道してもらったらいろんな発見があったりするのでそこも楽しんでもらいたいです。And you can just plow straight ahead and go straight to solve whatever the case is that you're on,、mm-hmm. or you can explore. And are, the game is, is made with lots of、uh, places to explore in mind. Yeah, if you explore these environments, there's lots of different things you can find. Namely, a red matter to clean up, <laughs> which there's a percentage that appears on the screen when you clean up red matter. And、uh, 
I, I invite everyone to try and get 100%. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This, everybody's probably watching me like, you, know, you missed something. Yeah. Clean it up. All right. Let me try to concentrate so I can beat that. Yeah. We, so we've got a giant gorilla-looking Chimera here. I got to get in this. What I'm going to try to do is actually move to the back so I can start getting some crits. Yeah. You can see the damage numbers. All of the white damage numbers are doing a normal amount of damage. But if you attack the enemy from behind, you'll get those critical attacks. And those are indicated by the yellow oh, damage no, you numbers. Don't. Nice dodge. まあ、今のプレイヤーキャラクターは銃を撃ってるんですけれども、銃以外にもあの他に2種類の武器がありまして、うまあ合計3種類。あとレギオンは5種類あるので、3×5の組み合わせでいろんな戦い方が楽しめ
she can't see the Legion. You gotta show me how you did that. <laughs> so she's a little that. surprised. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go around this corner here. And you see, oh, I get bowled over. <laughs> People are scared. But you were standing in the way. I know, I know. I was trying to set up the, the drama. <laughs> All right, snatched. Um, yeah, so we wanted to kind of end like right here. I think that's mm -hmm. where we're going to have for today. Right. Um, but I'm sure that maybe uh, Tara-san would have some notes to say uh, at the end of this. Yeah. So this is just the beginning of the game and right here, from here, there's a lot of different twists and turns that are going to happen. So I hope that everybody is looking forward to seeing exactly what happens uh, and waiting for more information on this game. Okay. And again, I just want to iterate that that was also the tip of the aspect of combat. You're going to see some right. crazy stuff coming up soon. Um, all right. Um, it's, it's all for me, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, as Demetrius mentioned, the battle system and the moves that you have access to, it does get deeper. We are going to show a little bit of more depth uh, tomorrow on Treehouse Live. So after there's a little bit more astral chain to look forward to. Some good um, stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff. We're really excited to show that off. Um, as a reminder, Astro Challenge is out August 30th this year. Um, next up, we have two new trailers, so uh, stay tuned. And after that, Nintendo Treehouse Live will return with some Damon X Machina. Oh, yeah.